That's sick. I'm going to go see this by myself without my kids. They gonna be so mad. The two trailers are so good. I already know it's, it's gonna be a hit. Is this, wait, oh, 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 is it Black Panther? Ah, yes, oh my God, I'm so excited for this movie. Black Panther, yes! What do you know about Wakanda? Ugh, I love Martin Freeman. I literally had a t-shirt custom made just so I can make sure I wear it for the premiere of this movie. It's a third world country. Textiles, shepherds, cool outfits, all the front. I'm so excited. Yours have searched for it. Oh, yes. Called it El Dorado. Visually, that's so stunning. They looked for it in South America. But it was in Africa the whole time. Marvel Comics in Africa, what? I'm the only one who's seen it. And made it out alive. I'm so hype. This is the one everybody wants to see. Ah! <laughs> yes! Dude! <laughs> My girl Danye is in it from The Walking Dead. Ah. Oh. And then, oh, the city looks so cool. The world is changing. I'm going to go see this by myself without my kids. They're going to be so mad. And the conquerors. This looks really cool. Oh, that's my that's my husband. He can you scoop me up. Good, and it's hard for a good man yeah. to be a king. It's pretty badass. <laughs> it looks so action-packed. The effects and everything, my goodness. This is crazy. Nice soundtrack too. Uh yeah. I feel it's gonna be one of the best Marvel movies. Kendrick Lamar does the soundtrack, I believe. So it's gonna be good music, it's great actors in there. He was like my favorite comic book character as a kid. And the fact that he's finally getting the movie, it's like, oh my gosh, I lived long enough to see this movie. I'm so happy. I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons. That they I make it look like it's imagine. like a different world. Yeah. I know like nothing about Black Panther, so I kind of want to see this now so I get a little bit more of the story. How much more are you hiding? The soundtrack gets you so hyped. I already like the music. Whoever's in charge of the music is doing it. A plus. We are home. The cast seems like such a solid cast. My son, it is you. <gasps> Angela Bassett. I mean, my respect in downtown. Yeah. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. I like the shape. Mm. Mm. Don't freeze. I never freeze. Ah! Awesome! That's sick! What? How do you just drop out of a ship and throw those so nonchalant? <sighs> it's so, the wardrobe is so good, it's so different. Cause we own ya, you and I'm a Cause we own ya. They make their villains really hot and it's hard to dislike them. What happens now? It's intense. It determines what happens. Now he's got like an Iron Man thing and like the, the suit comes on. Yes. Dude, they just leave you wanting more. Like, what's gonna happen? This one looks cool too. It has two different villains. How many bad guys are in this film? The revolution. We'll be live. Like, I'm talking like, I'm gonna have heart palpitations watching this movie. Like, I'm gonna need a medic. All right, I'm into it. I don't know if there's a better description than just wow. The two trailers are so good. I already know it's it's gonna be a hit. So those are trailers for the upcoming film Black Panther. I'm super excited. How does this movie look? The movie looks amazing. As a kid, I was really big into uh, X-Men, uh, Captain America. I had never read this one, so this one's kind of cool because it's like introducing a whole new character for me that I never even knew. Uh, when I was growing up. The cast is basically mostly all African-American or African, so I think that's a nice spin on it. Well, I just see my people on screen and I'm like, it's a Marvel, my people on screen? It's Marvel? I gotta go see it! So this film is drawing comparisons in a way to last year's Wonder Woman, as both did not feature a white male lead, as many recent superhero movies have. 
That was like my favorite movie of 2017. Wonder Woman went on to become a huge success, both critically and financially, and Black Panther already has drawn rave reviews and broke the MCU record for the most pre-sale tickets in its first 24 hours. No way! So what do you think it means for these films to not just be made, but to be a success? I think it's amazing because the thing about Hollywood is it's entirely run upon money. They're afraid to cast the non-stereotypical white, mid-twenties, whatever male to be their lead because they're worried it won't make money. So if things like this and things like Wonder Woman are successful and they do get all of this traction, it just means bigger and better things for everybody. It means a lot and I think it speaks to the progress that we are making in society even though there still is quite a ways to go. The more you represent everyone, the less it's gonna be as much of a big deal, which I feel like is good. If you put the right people in the right roles that haven't been represented before and it starts making money, that opens doors for everyone else. I just hope that it just stands on the merit of what it is and that we just find more great stories that doesn't feature people of color always have a drug problem or the typical um, white person comes into the black person's neighborhood, saves the day. So there has been a lot of conversation on the social impact potential of this film where it's a lead superhero who is black, which has not usually been the case. Have you seen this as an issue with superhero movies or in blockbuster movies in general? Yeah, definitely. I mean, as a kid, like, superheroes were my obsession, and it was amazing for me to get to sit in the seats and be like, wow, like, I could be Captain America. It's awesome to finally have representation where, like, a little black kid can watch Black Panther and be like, holy sh**, like, that's awesome, that could be me. I wish that I had something like this that I could have gone to the movies and, and seen, especially, you know, being a young black girl in America, I felt like, okay, I somebody like me will never really be a leader. That movie Hancock that uh, Will Smith was in, it was like, okay, well he's like an anti-hero, but the fact that it was like a black lead role as like a hero, people were kind of like, that's not usually like the Superman or the Batman. There's more than just white guys that can be heroes. It goes just beyond like race. I mean like LGBTQ characters, like there's not a lot of representation for people outside of like the societal norm. All these little details that they're leaving out like creates this perception of reality that's untrue. I think of like Wesley Snipes and Blade, and I think of, you know, other movies. It's kind of like people saying that women haven't also been represented when you go back to like Alien, and you got Sigourney Weaver and Ripley. But you're right, it hasn't been one of those things where it's been dominant. I group them all together as just the heroes. The state of PC culture and everything else right now makes me feel like my brain isn't right by thinking that way. Very specifically, people have been discussing the importance this film can have for today's youth. Notably, a man named Frederick Joseph raised over $30,000 in Harlem specifically for kids there to be taken to the movie when it comes out. That's fucking awesome. It's awesome that people are taking the time, you know, to raise money um, to get these kids to be able to see, and, and hopefully it inspires them. So why do you think having a lead hero like Black Panther can impact the next generation? Because it's important for everyone to feel like they have someone to relate to. It's about goal setting and dreaming and realizing that, that, it, that it's attainable and that there's not this ceiling that they can't break through. We still live in a time where there's still a divide and it's important for youth to grow up and see, hey, I can be anything I want to be. When I was, you know, five or six, my, my sister took me to go see Superman. You know, it was fascinating, it was great, but it was, you know, just like the regular, you know, white man saves the day. It has to be another side, you know, and now, 40 years later, it's like, wow, you know, you got this Black Panther movie and this is like, psh, everything comes full circle. So finally, Black Panther releases on February 16th. Where do you think this film will ultimately rank among the MCU movies? It's hard to tell where it's going to rank because I haven't seen it, but just judging by the trailer, I'm gonna say it's gonna be in definitely like the top, top two or three for me. This will be, you know, the biggest movie for Marvel ever. This will definitely be top three for me. I can feel it. It's gonna be pretty high. If it's not all it's cracked up to be, I'm going to my grave with that it is. I'm worried it's gonna be overshadowed by Infinity War, but I think personally, it's it's gonna stay like solid top three, top five. I'll be there camping out in my little tent if people did that anymore. Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React. Subscribe, we've got new episodes almost every day. Let us know in the comments if you're excited for Black Panther. Shout out to Banana Blast and Justin Perez for watching last week. Bye. Hi guys, JC here. Producer here at FB. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Adults React. What other trailers should we react to next? Let us know down in the comments. Bye, guys.